hello guys here's the continuation of my last video on how to sew this corset here's the finished work and in this video i'm going to show you how i joined the bustier part enjoy so i have pinned the lace to to my brother satin so that i can understand better don't forget to notch a potent area just notch a place so that you can use the notched area to align the other parts as you can see i also notched this one so i'm just going to align the places i notched together when sewing so the first thing i'm going to do now is to join this to this this to this then join this is my center front i'll join this to this and this to this then i'll come back and show you so i have joined the panels together i have joined this and i have ironed them out so what i'm going to do with this now is to add my boning channels like i did in my last corset, uh, corset video there is no rule to it you can add as many as you want and however you want it however style you want it to be and yeah i also joined this one um notch them and iron it out i added the bra up here and then trim off the excess that was coming out really you can do this style without bra cups it will still just start. but i'm going to be adding the bra cups anyway then if you notice this panel is longer than this i should have adjusted it while i was cutting please remember to adjust yours when you're cutting just add extra about one inch because of the dart removed there i should have added more to this side the other time so when you're cutting your own try to add it back and if you're not adding it back just trim it like this and to still everything will still work out anyway just give it a little trim and it will it will still fall in place so the next thing i want to do now is to then join these two together i will join this to this also join this to this and then turn with my lining remember i did not shape in the triangular waist when i was cutting it i said i would hold on to now after i have joined my panels so that's what i'm doing right now i have used chalk to mark the shape out and i'm going to use my scissors to cut out the shape so here i have added all my bowling channels exactly where i want them to be and i'm going to join this part to the upper part of my you know bustier so i'm going to be joining these two pieces together as you can see i've added my yoke to the upper part of the dress and yeah i will be joining the bodies to it while turning it with my lining so guys this is how much footage i could get from the sewing of this project um as you can see i covered up the um yoke area with patches from the lace that's because the person does not want it to expose that cleavage i also added patches of the lace to the underbust joining so the joining would not be obvious it's a mermaid dress with a long tail and yeah the project came out lovely thank you so much for watching see you next time bye bye